everyone, hope you're well. I just wanted to um, talk today about fear because there is fear and love and both on complete opposite sides. One raises your vibration and allows you to feel joy and happiness and you know excitement and the other one brings your vibration right down. Um, and in today's world with everything going on, by focusing so much on fear, it's really bringing vibrations down. And um, we want to lift the vibrations to be able to have a joyful life and a joyful earth. Anyway, it might sound a bit kooky to you, but work with me. So with fear, um, it's no surprise that when you see things on TV or um, you know news media, um, a lot of fear is being pushed because fear is the greatest manipulator. So it's um, when you you know it's kind of like when you fear something, they they will say you know before this happens, buy this or uh, before you you know fall in a ditch. Make sure you have insurance you know that kind of thing it's not not all of it's like as <laughs> as light as that but there's there's a fear around it so fear gets people to do things fear uh, is a great manipulator it can also work well for you because you know we need a bit of fear to be able to keep us safe but having uh, being surrounded with a lot of fear really does uh, affect your energy levels so <clears throat> In order to raise your vibrations, you need to focus, put your focus more on love. There is this really good um, kids movie that um, that I love. Go figure, I do love kids movies. Uh, it's called Rise of the Guardians. Anyway, it's it it's a really good story. It's a story around fear, and it's a story around how joy trumps fear. It's a good one to watch because fear is trying to take over the world. Does that sound familiar? Anyway, um, and so what it does is it's how they got through that and how they got past it. So all I would like to say <clears throat> is be aware when you are seeing things, hearing things, stop and think to yourself, is this right for me? Is it something that is making me feel fear? So that I will do something, and is it something that I'm right that I feel good about? Is it something that I'm happy to do? Um, I just always feel like it's really important to check back in, uh, because fear is there for a reason. It's there because, as I said, it keeps us safe. However, <clears throat> it it can flip to the dark side if there's too much, and in today's world, there is a lot of fear. So, in order to keep yourself raised up you need to flip that to focus on love what is bringing you love what is bringing you joy what is helping you to feel happy and excited and joyful there is a new day for a reason every day you get a chance to design your day again to make a change make things different and decide how you want to be how do you want to be today you've wiped the slate clean yesterday is gone today is a new day. What am I going to do? How am I going to create this day? How is it going to be? What am I focusing on? So you have the chance to decide. Do you focus on fear or do you focus on love? I know that's easy for me. <laughs> I'll always focus on love and joy. And that is how you move through in these times that we're in. Because with all the lockdowns, with all the talk that's going on and with a, there's a lot of judgment a lot of shame a lot of people feeling obligated or pressured to do things that they don't necessarily want to do or they don't feel that they want to do inside and but there's a lot of judgment and all of that is linked to fear the base of all of those things is fear so all I'm doing is well all I'm saying to you is Think about how, how you want to respond. Go deep into yourself and decide, 
what do I really want? Push all the, the pressures away. What is it that you want? What is it that you, how do you want to live your life? And then start from there. Every day, putting your intentions in and changing the way you live your life. That's all there is to it. Focus on yourself. Focus on lifting your vibration out of fear into love. Does it mean you're going to not go back? No, of course not. You're human. <laughs> but it just means you're aware of it. If you can be aware of where fear is being peddled, um, it allows you to make a choice instead of falling into the emotion and, and feeling so frightened that you just grab at straws. Instead of falling into that, look at it as, I can now see it, I acknowledge it, now I will choose. So, be aware of the fear that comes and I would encourage you always, choose love, choose love, choose joy, design your own life, choose what you want to do, choose how you want to be. That's why you're here. All right, that's enough from me. If you get a chance, try and watch the movie Rise of the Guardians. It's fabulous. And you'll get what I mean. <laughs> okay, have a great day. Bye for now.